I'm Chanel Greco from Superis, and in this video, we're going to have an in-depth look at the comment feature in Google Docs. The first step is to go ahead and share our document. In this case, we will be sharing our document with Adam. We will giving, we'll be giving him the commenting rights. And it's always a good idea to let the people know that you're sharing a specific document or file with them um, because they might not notice if you do not inform them. Who can comment on a document? It's a user with editing permission, a user with commenting permission, or even the owner of the document itself. Um, why would you want to do so? Well, here we see Jane, who's the owner, the creator of the document, actually adding a comment to the specific document. It's a way to, you know, ask questions or collaborate on a document together. So the person who is commenting or working on the document will see these comments. And as we just saw, you can also edit your comments. And we also just saw Smart Compose in action. Now we're going to at mention someone. So again, we're adding a comment. And we're going to add an at. You could also work with a plus and then the email address of the person. You see how Adam is out of the office, so it's synced to his Google Calendar. And in this case, we're even assigning Adam a task, so he will receive an email with this task. And now we just saw how we're adding another comment. This time we right-clicked the text to add a comment. And oh, the document is not shared with Chanel, so let's go ahead and give her editing rights. So pretty cool how as soon as we at mentioned someone in the document, it gave us the hint that we need to share the document with that person. Now this is Adam's view. So he received an email um, with this uh, sharing of the document. That's a notification that went out. And now here, uh -huh, here we see the task to which Adam has or which has been assigned to Adam. He clicks on the link and he's now brought to this exact same document. You see he's only in suggesting or viewing. Those are the only two modes he has available because he's only commenter. Now Adam can easily add his comment here, reply, and mark the assignment as resolved. And here he wants to answer to Jane's question. She wanted input, so here you go. He simply clicked on her comment and is replying to it. Now, when we hover over these comments, we see this blue dot and that it, changed in, it changes into the label new. And here we have her comment overview or history. Now we're back in Jane's view just to, to be clear on that, we can also reopen resolved comments or assignments. We can filter if I only want to see comments for myself or such that have been resolved or all. And we also can change our notifications. So we want to be notified when all comments are made or only I receive or am mentioned in comments or none at all. So signing out when it comes to comments. Now, once we're finished collaborating on the document, we can also make other people simply editors like that. They can't actually change the document anymore. And we just saw Adam's view. He was still in the document and it notified him that he does not have any access anymore. Leave me a like if you learned something new in this video. And would you mind subscribing to this YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week we publish new video tutorials about Google Workspace and I want you to benefit from these videos.